Welcome to this screencast. This is our second lesson on Vectorion Joto. We are going to animate a movie clip symbol. This will give us an animation inside an animation. Here's one I made earlier. You recognize our blue alien flying across the sky. But look at the black birds as they are flying from right to left. You can see that there's a movie clip symbol to make them traverse the screen, but at the same time they are batting their wings. And it's that last effect we are going to do right now. I'm still working on the second, well, it's called scene three because I will add a scene later in a later lesson. And I'm going to create a second movie clip symbol, which will be our bird flapping its, screen, its wings. In the library, I can click on this button. Let's call it bird. It must be a movie clip. As you can see, everything's gone off the screen. No more layers. It's all empty, no frames. And inside the library, the bird has been added and it's selected, it's highlighted in blue. So that shows me that I am working on that movie clip. Let's do a red bird this time. Here's the body of my bird. And the wing. With the selection tool, click on one wing, Control c to copy, click the center, Control v to paste. So I've got two wings and one body. The free transform lets me resize and also rotate. Now let's assemble our bird for its first frame. Free transform. I'm going to move the center of rotation of this wing to the point where it's going to attach the body. And I do the same thing for this wing over here. Now, when I rotate, it's going to rotate around, not around its center, and that's the effect I want to, um, to make the bird flap its wings. I can move that over here, move that over there, like that. Notice how I can see the outline of my shapes and they seem to be separate from the body. Now that's very important, I need that. After five frame, we insert keyframe. And if I click just on one wing, I'm able to only select that single wing. So give it a rotation downwards. Select the other wing, do the same thing. That's all right. And a motion twin. So it's batting its wings down. I'm still working on my bird, not on anything else. So I need to go back to the bird, editing the bird. After many clicks, I'm back to just working on my bird, as you can see. And now we are going to do bringing the wings upwards. A new keyframe, click on this one wing, check that the pivot point, the center of rotation, is still where I want it to be, and rotate the wing upwards. Same for the other one, check the center of rotation, it's all right. Bring it upwards. One final check, I'm going to activate the onion skin tool, I want to see that the last frame is reasonably close to the very first frame of the cycle. Over here, the square brackets on the timeline show me how many previous frames are highlighted in lighter shades on the screen. If I slide this to show me, to enlarge, to give it a wider, uh, a higher number of frames being shown. So I'm now sitting on the last frame and it seems to be reasonably close to the lightest frames, which are the very first one. So the overall effect, oh, it's difficult to see the overall effect when the, when the um, onion skin is activated. Next, I'm going to insert this bird onto my second scene, the one where it's flying. I'm going to add a new layer 
for the bird. And in that layer, let's click and drag the bird from library onto the stage. It's huge. This is good. Using free transform, I'm going to shrink my movie clip symbol to a size that I think would be all right for my purpose. So I've got the bird on the first frame over here. Let's. Um, nothing stops us from inserting a second bird. I want that one to be more in the distance, so I'll make it even smaller. And let's hit, let's get it to start further back. Now, when you test your movie clip, animated movie clip symbol within the uh, Joto, it does not show you the bird batting its wings. You will have to export it to see that. So make sure to click on the first scene when exporting, just to be sure it exports all the movie. The pink birds are indeed flying their wings at the same time as crossing the screen. That's the end of this lesson, and join us for the next one, where we are going to um, do some animation before the takeoff.